It's every voter's worst nightmare. You get to the booth. You turn the key. You hear the beep. You turn the key the rest of the way and nothing happens. Whoa. Well, don't freak out just yet, people, okay? Because today we're going to talk about three KISS methods of troubleshooting. What happens when you turn the key on your outboard powered boat and it doesn't start? There are a couple really simple fixes that actually account for the vast majority of the experiences like this. People, I'm Lenny Rudo, and I'm here for Boat US. Now, you probably have Boat US. If you don't, you should. And uh, before you call them to come and help you get your boat started, remember to try these three things, okay? Because a lot of the time, they're going to work. This right here is probably the most common problem. These engines will not start because these shifters are not in neutral. Ah, now, yep, that's the trick. Now, what you got to remember is, as throttles age, sometimes these get a little finicky. It may feel and look like they're in neutral. So if you go to turn the key, it doesn't start. The first thing you want to do is just jiggle them back and forth a little bit, make sure they're in there. In some cases, you can even get an engine started by turning the key while you jiggle. Now, if that's the situation for you, that's great. You get it started, you go home. Uh, before you take out the boat again, take it in and have that fixed. Now, let's say you turn the key, the engine cranks, but it won't start. First thing you go to is the ball in the fuel line. Did you pump it to prime that motor up? If you haven't, give it a few squeezes, pump on that thing until it gets hard. You can feel the pressure in it. The third thing to check out is the kill switch lanyard. Aha! Now, I bet it turns over. Yep. If that little clip is not installed properly, those engines will not run. And that's the third really common way that people get flummoxed when they go to start their outboard and nothing will happen. Maybe you know, somebody else took this out when they weren't looking, maybe during the cleanup, the last time they used the boat, it got pulled out. Uh, maybe they just forgot to install it, whatever. If for whatever reason this little clip is not properly clipped underneath of that little red button, this boat's going nowhere. Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave your comments below, and don't forget, click on that subscribe button so you don't miss any future Boat US videos.